I think it's important uh, to understand those figures and, and put them in proper context. Uh, firstly, they are reasonable worst case scenarios. They are not necessarily what will turn out to be the reality. But it is important and I think the public would be assured to know that we are planning for a reasonable worst case scenario. That means we are taking all of the steps that would be required to deal with something of that magnitude. I think the second point to make about these figures is even if they did come to pass or anything approaching that came to pass, these are not figures of people who would be infected at the same time. This would be over a fairly lengthy period of time and also the vast majority of uh, people infected will have very mild symptoms, something akin to a common cold. In fact, there are some people who would have been exposed to the virus who wouldn't experience any symptoms at all. So it's important to have a context around figures like that.